in here, Derek. Morning, honing on to knock Limerick from P. Well, Patrick from <laughs> 74. P. Well, 74, that Kieran, is it? <laughs> that's probably Kieran Kieran, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you know, like, uh, just to jump over to Limerick for a second, their first few games, obviously, they weren't that impressive against Waterford, but still won with 14 men. And obviously, Claire beat them the last day around. Do you think that Limerick are building towards back being to where, where they were at, or are there problems? I do, yeah. I mean, I think P. Well, 74 has it wrong there. I, I'd actually be pretty confident in, in Limerick's uh, chances. <laughs> uh, I thought it was one. I'd be pretty confident in Limerick's chances this weekend. And and I'd still have them down if I was calling the All Ireland winner. I, I'd have Limerick down as it at the moment. Um, oh, you know, build them up to break them down, boy. <laughs> look, <laughs> I honestly, I said that at the start of the year. Look, uh, I think they have the best team. <clears throat> they were probably disappointing you know in in their performance against Limerick or sorry against Waterford in first day and and they kind of limped over the line but they were a man down and they just didn't look like they were you know championship ready even against Clare I thought Clare played a lot better than them but still only won the game by a point um and if you take it that you know they kept themselves in the game in a game that you know they were being outplayed in and uh they didn't take maybe the chances that they could have taken and they could have still won the game so against you know a team that has been pretty close in the last couple of years anyway mm -hmm. so i think limerick are still very well positioned they've had that two-week break now building into this game and they'll have been planning for, for for this game so i'd expect a big performance out of them and if they can get out of the, over the line in Munster and, you know, build a bit of momentum up, they'll be very, very hard to beat, you know, if they do get into Crow Park later on in the year. They just need to survive there, don't they, really? They need to survive Munster, essentially. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, like, I think they will. I think I think they will. They'll win, they'll win um, you know, I think they'll do enough to, to, get, to get out. And uh, I think, you know... As, as they're getting more, uh, the, the way they've probably structured their training, they're looking to win all Ireland. You know, it's different for a Clare Tip or a Cork. Or they're doing or Waterford, where they're doing their utmost to get out of uh, Munster or win a Munster. But Limerick have been there and done that now over the last few years. So they'll have been structuring their training around that and trying to peak later on in the year. And I suppose it's a fine balancing act in that if they do get out, you know, they could beat all around them, but they have to get out first. And I think they will.